There comes a moment in life when you look back, when you take stock. Well, maybe as you see me here, you might tell yourself that my life has not been such a success compared to Janine retiring to the Pacific Islands or Roger with his power of reincarnation. But do not be fooled by appearances and let me tell you my story. Everything started in the minds of European scientists around the issue of plastic packaging waste and food waste. This scientific community, led by Valérie Guillard of the University of Montpellier, started a project to create a form of packaging that is eco-designed, biosourced from agro-waste and biodegradable in the natural environment. A connected and intelligent packaging, able to communicate information on the freshness of the products they contain while optimizing their conservation thanks to active functionalities. This program, fully in line with the concept of a circular economy, has received funding from the European Union. That's how the Glowpack project was born, and with it begins my manufacture. So here we are in the pilot scale plant in Isola della Scala, Verona. This plant is able to get PHA starting from agro waste, mainly uh, liquid and solid manure. This liquid and solid manure is fermenting in this uh, unit that you can see here, obtaining VFA, which are the core process that will be used as a source of carbon for microorganisms to get the PHA. The liquid contains the VFA, so we have to separate the liquid phase from the solid one. Uh, the liquid phase is then filtered, then it will, they will be stored inside a tank, and from the tank we can decide to give this source of carbon to microorganisms in order to select them and obtain the microorganisms, we'll be able to convert the VFA into PHA. After we got this, we pass through the accumulation phase over here, in which we uh, are going to feed them in order to uh, make sure they will grow up until they will contain a, a very high content of VFA that will be transformed by a conformational change into PHA. Afterwards, we stop the process and we uh, collect with the reactants the biomass. We harvest that and we obtain the biomass containing the PHA. So here we are at the Joint Research Unit YAT of the University of Montpellier and our implication in the GLOPAC project is the compounding and the optimization of the PHA. So more in detail, um, we receive the purified polymer from the PHA producer of the project, so namely from uh, Inoven, which is in the form of a fine powder like this one. And our goal is to transform this powder into solid pellets. So here we are using the extrusion process thanks to specific uh, formulation of additive and using the best adapted processing condition. We aim at producing a composite material with optimal property uh, for food packaging application, which will be lately sent to the industrial partner Futurplast for the production of the trays. This material, created according to the product I am going to pack, is then moulded to give me the shape you know. My properties are optimised and modelled. Thanks to digital simulation, I can be specifically designed to package, for example, meat, falafels, cheese or vegetable spread. To increase my capacities, I can become active and release natural components into the package to inhibit the growth of microorganisms. To make me connected, I will have a smart label, enabling me to communicate with various actors in the distribution chain and with consumers. If ever the consumer has forgotten me, my smart label will remind them that it is time to consume the products that I contain and thus avoid wasting them. Once my mission is over, it's in the compost with the other organic waste that my story ends. So yes, when I take stock of my life, I am serene and tell myself that it has been useful and full. And, I don't know why, but I have the impression that it's not really the end. <laughs>